This ain't advice. I'm not your advisor. And as they say in the biz, slap that subscribe button. We're only about 10 hundred thousand away from a million. We're almost there. Welcome to another Buck Talk Mailbag episode. Thank you for tuning in. Let's check out today's question. Why does your tax bracket in retirement matter for rolling over your 401k slash traditional IRA to a Roth IRA? And I'll just give a little background before we read the question. So it's really common for people to take their 401k and roll it into a Roth IRA rather than a traditional one. And when you do that, you have to pay income tax on whatever value you, uh, it's not called a, a rollover, it's called a conversion. Whatever amount you convert is as if you earned that income that year. Um, so let's read the question now. So quick question, you don't really understand why your tax bracket at retirement matters that much when considering whether to roll over to a Roth IRA. Here's a hypothetical. A 30-year-old has $50,000 in a 401k and has 32% income tax. At retirement, they expect to be in a 22% tax bracket. Say they don't invest any additional funds into the account and it grows to $300,000. Okay, assuming Roth and traditional grow at the same rate in the long run, I'll agree. This person can convert to a Roth right now and pay $16,000 in taxes, or they can wait and pay $66,000 in taxes. Aren't the taxes in retirement gonna be higher because the value is so much higher? I feel like I'm missing something fundamental. Thank you for taking the time. You are missing something fundamental. So let's break out our Excel spreadsheets. Okay, so we got our spreadsheet open and we got $50,000 today as pre-tax. Tax rate today is 32%. Figuring out, I think you said we're gonna end up with $300,000. So to get the rate of return for that, we can just make it a factor. So we can do equals 300,000 divided by that. Okay, so we're gonna, our money is gonna go up by six. That's a 500% return, but we can just use a factor. So we just call it rate of return factor to retirement tax rate in the future 22 percent okay so now we have two options so we can convert right away and that's going to look like we start with 50k but then we pay taxes so now we're left here so we got 34k right after we convert, right? Because we just paid, we just paid taxes on it, and it's going to grow by six times or 500%. So future value equals this times this. So in one case, we'll end up with 204 thousand dollars in a Roth after tax. Or let's say convert in retirement. This will be our other case. So instead, we get our $50,000 times, well, we don't pay any taxes right away. So we'll just start with 50, right? And then future value again, and our 50,000 will go up to 300,000, same as in your example. And then we have to pay taxes, so we'll call it FV after tax. And that's gonna have to equal, oh, I'm doing this where you can't see it. Let me move it over. Let's we'll do it right in line. Just pulling it over for you. So future value after tax is that times one minus the future tax rate. So you can see in the case where you convert it at the lower tax rate, we actually end up with 30 grand more. That's why it matters. Hopefully that makes sense. Good luck with your conversions.